Emulation has been running rampant on the iOS App Store ever since Apple officially allowed emulators to be published there, with cult classic Delta kicking it off and emulators like Folium and others coming later. But now, ArcEmu is doing something different. That's bringing the entire catalog of Game Boy, Game Boy Color, and Game Boy Advance games right onto your wrist. Today, so I'm gonna give you guys another quick tutorial. I know I just did a tutorial, but I'm doing another one on how to get ArcEmu up and running and get you playing your favorite Game Boy ROMs right on your watch. First, you'll need to grab your phone and download the ArcEmu app. It is a one-time purchase. In Australia, at least it's just $2.99. I'll put the US price on the screen now. There's no subscriptions, no ads, nothing else after that one-time purchase. So not as bad as like, I don't know, $2 a month. Once it's installed on your phone, you will need to download it onto your watch as well. This should happen automatically, but if it doesn't, you can head to the App Store on your watch, search for ArcMU, and click the cloud icon to re-download it. You'll need the app on both your phone and your watch for this to work, because you can't import ROMs directly onto the watch. As far as I can tell, you could delete the app from your phone after importing the ROMs, but it's just easier to keep them both there. Importing ROMs is really easy. You don't need a BIOS file or anything like that, you just need the ROM files. To import a ROM, open the app on your phone and click the plus icon in the top right corner. There you can select your game ROMs, which can either be .zip, .gb, .gbc, or .gba. Once the ROM files are on your phone, you'll need to transfer them over to your Apple Watch as well. Quick clarification, I think it imports them automatically for you, um, but sometimes it doesn't, so if it doesn't, this is how to do it. Oh. To do this, tap the three dots next to any of the games on your phone, then tap transfer. Once that progress circle hits 100, they're ready to go on your watch without your phone. Once you've imported the ROMs, ArcEmu is a pretty standard emulator. You can also open the games on your phone alongside your watch. They run pretty well there and you've got all the features you'd expect, like customizable controls and save states. But the real magic comes when you open ArcEmu on your watch, where you just have your games and the the entire emulator right there on your wrist. I mean, realistically, this is basically a Pokemon or RPG machine because look at the controls, but this is still a really fun novelty to have and might save your ass in a pinch if you have absolutely nothing else to do and no access to your phone. There's a few more settings you can use to customize the emulator. In that same three dots menu, you can either rename or delete a game or access more game specific options. The D-pad option lets you go from a Sega style circular D-pad to a Nintendo style cross one. So it doesn't actually change if it acts like uh, if it looks like one, it just kind of changes the behavior to whether you can use it like one or not. And the color option lets you change the color of the ROM in the game list. In the settings menu in the top left, you can also adjust more system-wide settings like your frame rate, haptics, and game volume. On the watch, you've got the exact same options, with the only difference being the control, the D-pad option, is replaced with an option that configures the digital crown. Configuring that lets you select what buttons you want to hit when you scroll the digital crown up or down, which is really cool. And that's it. Uh, now you're playing Game Boy games and Game Boy Advance and whatever on your watch, which is just crazy. I show a kid in the 90s that and they'd lose their f***ing mind. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully you have fun with the ROMs on your wrist. But if you're a regular viewer, I, I know two short tutorials in a pretty short amount of time. Don't worry, the longer ones are coming. I've got a great video on this desk coming. That's gonna be a lot of fun and you should subscribe for that. And then I've also got my Vision Pro coverage. It's gonna be a good month next month. And if you're not a regular viewer, you may as well become one. If you want more videos, you can click over here to check out my review of iOS 18, or you can click over here to check out whatever my latest upload is. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.